Hi, it's Rob. I'm in the studio reading another chapter of my new audio book, I'm Worth More. I'm going to warn you, uh, this is pissing me off. Uh, I am not enjoying it uh, and I'm doing my best to get through these chapters. Though I have got the legendary Ruben who's there editing me. The poor guy is getting really busy at the moment editing me. But there we go. Let's give this a go. This chapter is um, about putting yourself out there more. Tune in. Let's see how many takes I can do to get this chapter read. Hopefully you'll enjoy the chapter. Ready, ready when you are, Ruben. Chapter 44. Oh, fuck. You see, I fucked up the first time. I don't say chapter, do I? No. 44. Putting yourself out there more. You don't need a load of rah, rah, whoop, whoop, hell yeahs from me to know that most people, including you, know what to do. You just need to go and bloody well do it. If you had a shop, you could be the best cashier or salesperson in the world and you could win awards for the best dressed shop window. But if you didn't get anyone in the shop, you have no shop because you have no one to sell to. You wouldn't be able to pay for your rent and you'd go bust. I know for a fact that you have a unique set. I know for a fact that you have a unique set of skills and talents. I know you do what you do really well. I know you could be the very best. But the world won't know that until you start putting yourself out there more. I used to be an artist. My strategy and reaction to not selling my paintings was to paint more paintings. That's like eating more if you're not losing weight. I didn't need more paintings that no one would see and no one would buy. I needed to sell the ones I'd already done. There was nothing wrong with them. The reality was that not enough people were seeing my pieces of work. I didn't get my paintings out to more galleries. I didn't get my paintings out of Peterborough, for fuck's sake. I didn't approach agents and dealers with my work. I didn't get more traffic to my website. To be honest, I didn't really get out of my studio, house, cave, hole that I lived in. Sometimes you just need to have a good word with yourself. Give yourself a stern talking to, a little slap maybe, and get yourself out there more. You're not an introvert, remember, from chapter 29. You have nothing to be afraid of. So post more on social media. Get out to events. Get on the phone and talk to people. Do live streams and webinars. Go to parties and functions that you'd usually turn down. Go to reunions. Here are some practical ways to put yourself out there more. And they're not just for introverts. Stop overthinking it and start testing it. Don't waste precious time worrying and overthinking about whether you'll mess up, be judged or that you won't be good enough. Instead, just go for it. Yes, prepare to a point, but then just do it. Remember that everything's a test. Nothing, including you, ever has to be the perfect, finished, final product. If something turns out to be bad, you can always go back and fix it. Stop making it seem so big and permanent in your mind. Understand how small your actions are in the grand scheme of things and take that pressure off. Ah, oh, it's nearly there. And take that pressure off yourself. Ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? What is the absolute worst case scenario for putting yourself, your content, your products, your services and even your soul into the world? It's not death. It's not disownment. People might not like you. If that happens, which is unlikely, you can learn from it and move on. Thank them. Move on. Ask yourself, what will happen if I don't? Think about what you'll miss out on if you don't put yourself out there. Think of all the things that might not happen for you. Think of all the opportunities you may miss, the competitors you may lose to, the people you'll never meet, the lovers, the followers, the fans, the clients. Think about where you'll be in 10 years down the line if you stay too scared to move forward or too hidden away to be seen by anyone. Remember that you can always press the delete button. If you really don't like something you've put out or afterwards feel like you could have done better, then just delete it. 
but first you have to put it out there to give it a chance. You might even end up surprised at the results and be glad you chose not to delete it. If it can't be deleted because it's something you said or did that you can't take back, you can still delete it from your mind. Or know that in five minutes or a week, whoever it was, oh fuck, there's a typo on here. Um, it says, I, if it can't be deleted. Can you see that? Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I was actually doing all right then. I was feeling quite good about myself because I fucking hate this. I hate reading this book. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. This is for you. This is for you. Don't say I don't ever do anything for you. I love you. This is for you. This is all for you because it's not for me. I don't know why I'm living this out to people, all the cock-ups. Actually, this is um, not as many cock-ups as I've done in many of the other chapters. And it's a hard chapter to read. So you're supporting me. You're picking me up when I'm down. You're there with me every step of the way. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. Yeah, and where do I... So from, or know that. Or know that in five minutes or a week, whoever it was would have forgotten about it. Better sometimes to beg for forgiveness than to seek permission. Get some more accountability. Get a fail safe in place that forces you to be accountable and follow through with your plans. Feel personally responsible if you fail to put yourself or your work out there. Whether it's a coach or a mentor, a bet or a competition, a community or accountability group, or making public commitment posts on social media that force you into accountability. Start with something you know well. If you're not sure where to begin, or your fears and self-worth issues are getting the better of you, start with something you know really well, a chosen niche, an area of interest or experience. Build your confidence up with things you are unshakable on, then scale up from there. Know that you have something unique to share. You are you, after all. Don't limit yourself or keep your voice and ideas from being heard. Just because you think there are other people... Oh. Yeah, pick me up there. Sorry, I've lost it. Yeah. Nearly there. I've almost done this chapter. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't limit yourself or keep your voice and ideas from being heard just because you think there are other people saying or doing things better than you. They can't say or do them the way you can because there's no one else in the world like you. There's a space in your niche for you. There's always room at the top. There are plenty of authors, entrepreneurs and influences. But here we are attracted to each other. Yeah. There's always room at the top. There are plenty of authors, entrepreneurs and influencers, yet here we are attracted to each other somehow. Stop playing small. Stop overthinking it. Start putting yourself out there more. Done. Done. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that chapter. Sorry I cocked up loads. It was to be expected. It is normal. You better get the book now. You better get the book after all this that I'm doing. <laughs> John's just said snazzy dressing gown. Thanks, mate. It's a Vivian Westwood cardigan. So, um... I'll take that as kind feedback instead of you being a troll. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone.